Well, hello and uh, welcome to Raven Wing Flutes. Uh, we're going to have uh, a second lesson today. Uh, I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, I've been in the shop. I had a beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, black limba, and I've been working on it today, and decided to take a, a break uh, from my work and have some fun with you guys. Okay, we're going to use this little uh, six-hole flute today and we're going to talk about a couple of things. Um, first one is breath control. <clears throat> now if you remember last week or last time I, I posted a video we talked about how important it was to have to, to be sitting upright not to slouch uh, so that your air column uh, is not impeded uh, or, or to stand up. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of being able to control how much air pressure goes into your flute. Uh, that's, we talked a little bit about that before, saying that if you're blowing too, slow, too softly or too hard, some strange things happen, some whistling sounds, some, some really unpleasant sounds come out, coming out of your flute. But what you have to realize also is these instruments are extremely expressive instruments. And by varying the air pressure that you uh, put into your flute, you can uh, you can use that to make your music that much more expressive. Now I'll demonstrate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and down the scale, and we'll use a little uh, lower air pressure air pressure at the bottom of the scale and a little higher air pressure at the at the top of the scale. Um, and you can hear the difference. The, your pitch will vary slightly with your air pressure, so that is also why it's important to experiment with your air pressure so that it, especially if you're playing with another instrument uh, you want your pitch to be uh, just on. Okay, uh, so I need you to make sure that you experiment with that. Make sure that you that you sit straight, that you have a good air column, and experiment with that um, until you're able to vary your pitch a little bit. I hope that comes through. You can hear that, but there's a little bit of a difference. You can you can sharpen your pitch and, and lower it just a little bit, and that becomes important later on when you start making music. Okay, the second thing that we're going to talk about today <coughs> is um, the attack. If you play all of your notes by just blowing into your flute, it's rather boring. There's nothing really interesting about that. So the first attack we're going to learn, and there aren't many, uh, is how to attack the note by saying the letter T. So I want you to practice this. As you blow into your flute, say the letter T at the same time. Okay, now if you do this on every note, it is going to be rather boring, just like not doing it at all. So again, practice that. Uh, do it maybe every two or three notes. So some of them are what's called legato, in other words you, you, you play two notes in the same breath without attacking the second note with the letter T, like so. Okay, that's without saying the letter T. And then the, you know, the second, third, fourth note you can say the letter T. Practice that. If you uh, do this, and if you remember, and keep in mind our rule of thumb, that every note that we play on the flute is going to have the holes beneath it uncovered. You can make music today. Have fun with
with your instruments, that, uh, again, this is one of the most fun instruments you will ever get to play. It requires absolutely no uh, previous musical knowledge of any kind. Improvise your music. Uh, of course, you can learn, uh, there are some uh, scores out there that you can purchase and, and learn music that way, but improvise your music, have fun with it. Um, I hope this helped, uh, and until next time.